Hi everyone, it's me Tom. Welcome to a brand new Trains Are Awesome video. So I wanted to give a little bit of a background to this video. I was very excited to shoot a video about the deepest train station in America. While I was working on editing the clips for this Portland series, a bunch of my videos uh, unfortunately got lost. Thankfully I had a warranty on the device I had and so I was able to recover about 90% of the data. Um, but especially with this Washington Park video, a lot of the videos ended up going completely missing or getting severely corrupted. So if you notice any glitches in the videos, it's because of that. So we're going to take a tour of the deepest train station in North America uh, with some video footage that I took as well as some footage provided to us by Google. Hi everyone and welcome to Portland, Oregon. In today's video, we're riding Max Light Rail. If you want to find out more about this system, check out last Saturday's video. Our destination today is Washington Park Station. Located just west of downtown Portland, Washington Park lies in the three mile long Robertson Tunnel the longest tunnel on the Max Light Rail network. The station is served by the Blue Line and the Red Line and was opened in 1998 as part of the Max Light Rail extension westwards to Beaverton and Hillsborough. Why are we going to Washington Park? Because this station is the deepest station in the Western Hemisphere. If you love train travel, hit that subscribe button. We upload at least once a week, and this way you won't miss any of our content. You can also join our community on Patreon. Your support gives you access to cool features such as early video releases. And finally, follow us on our social media, Instagram and TikTok. Earlier, you saw me approach Washington Park Station from the east. Now we're approaching it from the west, riding a train from Beaverton Transit Center. Shortly before the station, the train enters the Robertson Tunnel. So this is Washington Park Station. It's on the TriMet Max Light Rail Blue and Red Lines. It's in the middle of the Robertson Tunnel, which is three miles long. It is very cold down here. Oh look, there it says the Robertson Tunnel. And this is the deepest station in the United States. We are at 260 feet below ground level. That's 79 meters. So besides holding the record for the deepest train station in the Western Hemisphere, it is also the sixth deepest in the world, and it is located in the southwestern corner of Washington Park, which of course the station is named after. If we open Street View, we can actually take a look at the two underground platforms. Washington Park has a very wide island platform that is mostly walled off from each other except at the ends where you can cross from one side to the other and at the ends is also where you will find the elevators. The Hillsborough bound platforms have a red and gray motif whereas the downtown bound platforms have more of a yellow motif. Passenger information is displayed with these little LED signs and my favorite thing of the station was all the educational material that was provided on the platforms. There were facts about history, about nature, there were even rock samples that were collected when the station and the tunnel were being dug. And all in all, while the rocks may have been bored here, I most certainly wasn't. There was so much to learn. Now I was looking for a way to climb the 260 feet up to the surface. I noticed that on the western end of the platform was a set of two elevators. I was thinking that perhaps there might also be a very long staircase, but when I walked to the eastern end of the platform I noticed that here were also two elevators. I've heard of New York City subway stations with only elevators, but up until now I had never actually personally been to a station only accessible by an elevator. 
I wonder what happens during emergencies. The tunnels seem too long to be able to flee by foot, so I figured there is probably an emergency staircase somewhere. It is very chilly down here. I have to say I'm really impressed with the design and the artwork of the station. The lighting as well as the fun things to look at make it a very pleasant place to stay while you wait for your train. Here are the elevators at the eastern end which we're going to take up to the surface. Cool. That little monitor showing the elevation is a neat feature. Let's take a look around the station. So this little cube shaped stone building is the station. Uh, I think it's the elevator shafts to be specific. And there are ticket machines and different information. There's a bus stop in front of the station. And if you head a little bit east, you'll walk right into the entrance to the Oregon Zoo. Here in the Google Street View footage, it looks like there's nobody here. And I can attest that when I came to the surface here at Washington Park, I did not run into anybody. It was very quiet and peaceful. The mountains were kind of draped in a fog and it was very pretty. I really wish I still had that footage. But here's the station again. There's kind of like a plaza on top that are accessible by some stairs. And going over this way, we see this almost Swiss looking building that is the Discovery Museum. Washington Park has many different nature themed attractions. Of course, to me, the main attraction was visiting a train station that holds a record, but I decided I needed to see a little bit more of this park. And so I decided to follow the road toward the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. It was just a quick five minute walk up the road. I'll show you how I went. So this is the other side of the train station where there is a large park and ride facility as well as visitor parking to the different attractions that are located by the station. We head west onto this road and then turn north and walk on it just for a few minutes until there's a pedestrian path which will lead us straight to the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. If we take a look at the satellite imagery of the memorial, we'll notice that it's in a spiral shape. And so you can walk from the bottom and kind of loop your way up towards the top. Now, Washington Park is part of a 40 mile system of hiking trails. And honestly, the tiny little bit of the park that I've seen, I would definitely recommend a trip here if you have some time in Portland. Let's go back down and ride the Max into Portland. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video about the deepest train station in the Western Hemisphere, Washington Park. On Saturday, we'll be back with a video from Portland's only commuter rail line, West Commuter Rail. Don't miss it. Make sure to subscribe to Trains Are Awesome, and we'll see you next time.